New York City is full, literally. Proof of this, the metropolis of about 8 million is actually sinking under its own weight of skyscrapers, homes, asphalt, and humanity itself. It's inevitable that the ground's going down, the water's coming up. At some point, those two levels will meet. Researcher Tom Parsons says the city's landmass is sinking at an average rate of one to two millimeters per year something known as subsidence. It's a natural process that occurs everywhere as ground is compressed, but the study published in the journal Earth's Future tried to estimate how the city's massive weight is speeding things up. Researchers say more than one million buildings are spread across the city's five boroughs. That all adds up to about 1.7 trillion tons of concrete, metal, and glass, equal to the mass of 4,700 Empire State Buildings pressing down on Earth. Parsons also pointed out that the different types of soil used around the city also have an impact, including artificial fill that can sink under its own weight because it's so poorly consolidated. Once you build on that, Parsons says, that only exacerbates the issue. Midtown Manhattan skyscrapers are largely built on rock, which compresses very little, while some parts of Brooklyn, Queens, and downtown Manhattan are on looser soil and sinking faster. Still, New Yorkers don't have to worry about pulling out their life vests and rafts just yet. Parsons' study points out the buildings themselves are contributing incrementally to the shifting landscape. It'll take hundreds of years, precisely when is unclear, before New York becomes America's version of Venice, which is famously sinking into the Adriatic Sea. NYC is not the only city seeping deeper into the ocean. So is San Francisco, California, by putting lots of pressure on the ground and active earthquake faults. And the Indonesian government may abandon its current capital, Jakarta, which is sinking into the Java Sea by building a new capital on higher ground on an entirely different island. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.